What's up YouTube, Pokemon here and welcome to the first Market Monday of the channel. Um, I've got a few cards I want to show you on TCG Player just to kind of look at the trends and the prices of these cards and yeah, let's go through them. Um, so the first one here today we have is the Groudon from Paradox Rift. Um, we can see that in the last month it's kind of gone up a fair bit from you know, $48 up to like kind of $60 range, um, kind of like dropping off a little bit now and just kind of stabilizing a bit here. Um, I do think this card is not a pickup at the moment. You can see that it had a meteoric rise uh, in March 2024, straight from $20 up to like $60. Um, and it's kind of now retraced back up to that $60 range. Um, it is like sort of leveling off a little bit here, but I think if obviously if you picked it up back here, then you're looking really good. I think this card is really solid. Um, it's a beautiful artwork and it's, you know, it's just an illustration rare, so it's a little bit more uh, common to find, but I would hold off on buying this at the moment, um, unless we see a drop. Um, but yeah, that's the Groudon from Paradox Rift. Moving on to the Roaring Moon from Paradox Rift. You know, this is the same set. Um, the Groudon does perform better than the Roaring Moon in terms of price. But again, we're seeing a bit of a rise here and kind of, you know, seeing the price go up a little bit with the most recent sale at $50. Um, again, this card is beautiful, but, you know, I wouldn't be picking this up right now. Um, you know, you want to get at this, like sort of this range here, the $40 range. Um, that's sort of when you'd be wanting to pick this card up. Um, right now, I think we're seeing too much of an upwards trend. I mean, you could predict this could go back up to the $60 range where it was about three months ago, two months ago. Um, you know, I certainly see this card you know, doing well in the future. Um, so if you do want to pick this up, I don't think it's terrible, um, but I do think there's better plays you can make across the board. Um, however, just keep an eye on this Roaring Moon, you know, see how far it goes. If it starts to drop off a bit, then maybe there's a play to make there, but I don't think right now is the best time to buy. Now, I want to look at this Infernape from Twilight Masquerade. Um, this card is extremely undervalued. I know it's just an illustration rare, but so is the Groudon, and look, the Groudon's at what, you know, $50, $60. Um, this is so cheap, you know, most recent sale at $7.70, so nearly $8. Um, I think you should pick this up, this card up, like, right now. Um, it's a really good card, it's beautiful artwork, you know. It's from Twilight Masquerade, so everyone's after Greninja, but the Infernape is being really overlooked, and at, you know, less than $10, I think you can pick up a few of these cards, hold on to them, see how they do. And you know, these cards can, this card can explode. Um, let's have a look at the one year. Yeah, see, I mean, obviously it's only a few dollars, but it did pop off a little bit, um, you know, six months ago, came back down and now it's kind of rising a little bit back up. Um, so I would, I would honestly pick this card up. It's so cheap, so beautiful, like, yeah, 10 out of 10 card. Um, so yeah, let's look at the Mew EX, man, this card's going <laughs> crazy over the past few days. I mean, look, um, just, you know, a couple of weeks ago, it was at like $100 and now it's, you know, up 110% um, over the last three months. It's insane. Um, obviously, uh, you know, the last, like, the last month would have been time to pick it up. Um, end of September, so just a month ago, you can see it for $90. And yeah, it's already gone up to like $172. And yeah, most recent sale, 169 it's $169. So, yeah, crazy card. It's it's out of it's out of it's out of the conversation now. You can't pick this up. It's it's gone. You have missed it. So if you missed that, it's a shame. Um, keep an eye on it. It might come down. But yeah, this card is beautiful. I mean, you should see it coming. It's a shiny new. It's an amazing art. It's a special illustration rare. Uh, it's got everything going for it. So should have picked it up before. I don't have it myself. I wish I picked it up before, but that's hindsight, isn't it? Um, so another card that I think is is really really strong that you could pick up potentially. Um, is the is the Machamp V from um, Astral Radiance here? You can see, um, you know, just going down and down and down and down. It's like really undervalued. Um, it's a cool art, you know. Um, Gen One Pokemon, not forget. So, yeah, like it's just going down and down and down. It's like now's the time to pick it up. You see these charts here, like stabilize, stabilize, flat. No one wants it, and then boom. That's that's what can happen with these cards. So when you see it trending down, and you you know you have the money for this, and you like the artwork, you know. Most important thing is collect what you enjoy, but you know when you see a chart like this, you can't just help but think that it's a time to, to get into this card and pick one up, see how it does. And it might go down a little bit more, but if it follows the trends like all Pokemon cards do, most Pokemon cards do, then you're gonna see a meteoric rise like the Mew. Um, maybe not as strong as the Mew because it is Mew and it is a shiny and it's a great card, but yeah, the Machamp V definitely one to watch. Another one to, to watch is the Espeon V Max from uh, Fusion Strike. Such a nice card, look at that. It's just the way it's sleeping on this building. It's so cool. Um, it's not really moved that much. It's kind of just like, yeah, just stable. A few little dips and rises here and there. 
um, but it's gone really low. It's gone down to you know, $180, down from you know, $205. So it's down nearly 9%. Um, it's making a little move up. Um, I think now if you want to buy it, it'd be a time to buy it. I do think, you know, as Sword and Shield gets older and older, we're now like, what, two years old, three years old in this stuff, um, you will start to see it go up. And I do think that, you know, Espeon being an evolution and a really loved card and a really loved Pokemon, I do think this card can, can, can do well. So keep an eye on this one as well. Guys, it wouldn't be a market Monday without you know looking at Charizard EX from 151. You've seen this graph, man, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Like I picked up a master set of this like last month, but I didn't get the Charizard and I was holding out on getting a grader. And now I don't even want to buy the card. Like it's ridiculous. I mean, we can see now finally it's coming down a bit. You know, it's gonna set a new lower high, uh, higher low. Um, we know this, it's not going to go back down to, you know, $120. It's just not going to happen. It might come down a little bit to like the 140 mark, 150 mark, and then maybe you can talk about picking it up. Um, I mean, keep an eye on the downwards trend here. Um, it's not a buy right now, guys. It's it's parabolic. It's it's pointless. But yeah, 151 cards. You know, it's a Charizard. Everyone was, was dogging on this card for a long time. It's not nice. He looks so weird with no neck, but the card's beautiful, man. The artwork with Charizard, uh, Charmeleon and Charmander is, is stunning. So it was always going to happen. Um, yeah, just sad I didn't get in it when I could have got in it like a month ago, but that's, that's the game, isn't it? Um, and now, one that I don't see many people talking about, um, I'm a bit biased because Alakazam's my favourite Pokemon, but this Alakazam EX from Fates Collide is so cheap. It's got Umbreon and Lugia on it. And yeah, it's a gold rare. I know people don't really like gold rares, but like, come on guys, like $15? I mean, that might not be a good condition one. Um, we'll put it on uh, near mint as the condition see the sales. Um, Okay, so yeah, we're looking at fifty dollars, but I still think fifty dollars for a, for an XY era card like an Alakazam Gen One with Umbreon and Lugia, like two of the best. Like, these are the two best Gen Two Pokemon in the game, like no hands down, the two of the best, and it's only fifty dollars. The only issue with this is that it doesn't grade well. Um, if you look at like I've been looking at a few of these on eBay. Um, let me just try and find my tab here. Um, yeah, like. All the ones on eBay, they're listed as like near mint and stuff, but they're really, they're just really not in good condition. Like, you just, I just don't want to buy that even for thirty-five pounds. Like, it's really difficult to find these in good condition, and I think that's probably what stops it from being such a good card because it's really hard to grade. But you know, I think it's it's a stunning card, and and you know, definitely one to actually look into. Um, I want to pick this up if I can find it. You know, it's it's going down. It's going down. Like, you see, these these sign these graphs are signs to buy. Man, right? these this is a sign to buy. Buy right here because it's only going to go up, in my opinion. This is not financial advice, but it's my opinion. Um, and now I'm going to look at two cards I actually did pick up. Now, this Charizard V, guys, this artwork is just unbelievable. And it's it's been going up in the last month. But look at the look at the year graph, man. It, it, it just dropped. It dropped from $200 to $100, $120. Like, this card is insanely beautiful. And it's like... X, Sword and Shield era, Brilliant Stars, a really nice set. And I think this is really undervalued, guys. I think you should try and pick this up. Um, I picked one up, I'm being transparent, I picked one up. I paid a little bit more for it than market value. So uh, let me go on to my purchases here. So I picked one up for 110. Um, this one is mint, like there doesn't seem to be any scratches or anything on it. So I think it was a good pickup. I'm gonna hold on to it for long term and see how it progresses. But I do think it's a solid investment. And I'm excited to actually have it in my collection regardless. That's the thing, guys. You collect things that you enjoy. And even if the price doesn't go up that much, like, you're still happy you got the card. So it's like a, a nice purchase to make, in my opinion. Um, finally, we're going to look at this Pikachu from Crown Zenith. Guys, this is another stunning card. It's the last Pikachu, last um, set with the yellow borders. So it's quite iconic. It's really easy to pull cheek Pikachu. And look, guys, it's $11, like $10. It's just a free pickup, man. Like, even if it doesn't go anywhere, like having this in your collection is, is such a nice thing to have. Uh, again, like I picked this card up for 10 pounds, I think it was on eBay. Yeah, 10 pounds, really good condition. And I'm happy to have that in my collection. Whether it moves or not, I don't know. But in the future, I can't see this card like this, not just going crazy, like not to like hundreds and thousands of dollars, but you know, going to like 30, 40 pounds or something like that. I could definitely see that happening. Um, but yeah, those are the cards I want to talk to you about today. Um, it's my first Market Monday. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and guys, let me know if you're picking up any of these cards, what you think about um, the cards that I showed you today. If there's any cards that I missed and you want me to cover, please let me know and I'll cover them in another video. Um, but for now, take care and I'll catch you in the next one.